But if you're shocked that CNN is going after Joe Biden, well, then you're really gonna, I mean, my God, you're gonna freak out right now because the mental institution known as MSNBC, which they televise 24 hours a day, a 24 hour a day mental institution, uh, they're going after him too. Here's Joe Scarborough uh, and Steve Ratner, and they're not happy with Joe Biden anymore. Exactly what happens. And my God, I just wonder what would have happened if progressives had gotten their $6 trillion wish earlier this year. Yeah, in, a, in an ironic way, you almost have to thank Joe Manchin for blocking that because $6.5 trillion of spending in this economy would make these numbers look small. Yeah, look, we had, yeah. A, we had a huge budget deficit. We had an unbelievably aggressive reaction by the Fed to the pandemic. You can kind of understand why they were trying, but they just tried too hard. And now we're all going to pay the consequences in a very, very tough environment over the next year or two while this gets sorted out. And by the way, I wouldn't even say ironically thank Joe Manchin. You can just thank Joe Manchin uh, if you're glad that interest rates aren't even higher. <laughs> For the life of me, I can't figure out why they keep doing this. Uh, this uh, you know, going to the press, setting false deadlines, deadlines that are going to fail. This is pretty simple stuff. Let me say that again. This is pretty simple stuff. You get the head of the Progressive Caucus, you get Joe Manchin, and you get Joe Biden, and you put them in a room. And you say, we're not going to get out of this room until one of two things happen. One, we have a deal. Or two, we're going to have a press conference where we go out and announce that Joe Manchin does not support any piece of legislation regarding Build Back Better. Senator Manchin has said that he would support universal pre-K, full $1.75 trillion. That would be an extraordinary new uh, entitlement for American families. If that's the case, you don't find that out by talking to reporters or setting deadlines. You get in the room, and not with a 1,000 people, get Manchin, Get the head of the Progressive Caucus, get Joe Biden, sit at a table and do it like you have done it, like every other business person has done it for years and say, OK, let's make a deal or let's just walk away from this. I mean, take, I mean if you take Manchin at his word, he's already committed. He shook Biden's hand. He said, I'll give you one point seven five trillion. So you start by saying, Joe. Show us your bill, not what you might support. Show us your bill and let's see where we go from there and then walk out, and make the announcement. He, we either have a bill or Joe Manchin will never support anything. And he's been lying to us for the past year and a half. It's very clear. I don't think Joe has been lying. I just think they keep talking around him and they're talking to their constituents and they're talking to other people in the House and they're talking to other people in the Senate instead of talking to the guy that's going to give them the 49th and 50th vote. Okay, so this is wild. And I wanna say, I like when people who are wrong about everything get things right, right? That's why I'm always going on about Bill Maher. It's like, you're wrong about a lot of stuff, then you get some stuff right. I wanna get you there. Okay, Don Lemon, you're wrong about everything. Occasionally you're right, I wanna get you there. Joe Scarborough, you're wrong about everything. You're right about something occasionally. I wanna get you there. What's incredible about this is MSNBC, everyone on MSNBC, everybody, I'm sure in those 87 boxes they just showed you, an IQ combined of six, these people all, of course, pushed for the American Rescue Plan, which led to this. It led to this. Take a pen, one starting point, one ending point. It gets us there, okay? You can't just print money and then think nothing's gonna happen.